young Reese. Athletenext.com, part four here of the Bulletproof series, a, a part that you guys have been requesting, and I, and I appreciate the comments, guys. Please leave your comments below. I'm actually going to put a question to you today. I want to know, one of the statistics I heard is that people have, uh, up to 85 to 90% of people have had back pain at some point in their life. It's a very common thing. It's something that you guys probably have dealt with, but I'm going to show you how to try to attack it and cut it off at the pass. But tell me, have you had a back problem? Let's do our own little poll here and see what the statistics are. Who's had a back problem? How long has it been bothering you? It'd be interesting to know, but we're going to knock it out right now. Bulletproof low back with two bands. All right. All we're going to do is, again, I always talk about something called muscle integration. You want to be able to tie in areas and muscles that work together naturally and stop isolating them so much. If they want to work together, let them, and you can actually develop stronger muscles because 1 plus 1 equals 10 in this case and not just 2. So we've got two bands. If I allow myself to lean forward, it's going to pull me like that. All right. Now, the first thing you'll notice is what is the position of my low back? I would say it's kind of a, 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 a shitty position of my low back right now, to be honest with you, because this is not good. This is going to cause an injury. What you want to do is get your butt out. And sometimes your hamstrings won't allow you to have that kind of flexibility. If that's a problem, you got to work on your hamstrings, guys. you got to stretch them out. So get yourself so you can get your butt in that position. Get that slight arch in your low back. Even if you're just doing bent over rows at this point, you, know, it's a, it, you have to establish that position. So when I'm here, I want to row back. And then from here, so I've, I've got the upper portion of my back working. Now I want to do a low back extension. I'm not pulling anymore. I'm using all my low back to do it. So here, I'm not going to pull anymore, I'm locked in, now it's a low back extension, straight down. Alright, so letting it come st forward, straight through, stretch, here, extend. And then when you get a little bit of a rhythm, and you can see that low back doing a lot of the work to get me to the top. But the key here is integration, guys. You've got to integrate more than one muscle group if there's more than one muscle group that does the action. So your low back works nicely with your mid back, works nicely with your upper back. Get them all working together, and your body will have some support. Everybody needs friends. The low back needs friends, too. It's got them in the upper back if you just allow it to work for you. Guys, again, leave your comments. Interested to know. Let's go for the... Team athlete community here, what's the back pain incidence you know, rate that we have? We're going to try to get those numbers way down now that we've got something like this under our belt. Next week, back again. We might take a quick break from the Bulletproof series, but you're going to like what we do if I decide to do that. But keep your requests coming. We're going to be doing them more and more kind of like this series. It's helping you guys out, and we're going to keep it rolling. If you haven't already, guys, grab the Athletex training system. It's all about building a bulletproof body. It's about getting yourself to be more and more uh, resi resilient, resistant to injury, while at the same time building lean muscle, getting ripped, being the best that you can be. I'll see you guys at athletenext.com. I'll see you guys again next week for another video.